glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Sooners are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Williams is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 27. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and that's all. That play fake, good for five yards. That brings them second and five. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a play. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down. Just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He's able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. Feeds it to the back. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From the 48-yard line, first down. Aaron and out long. Missed him. You definitely want to give your receiver some room to run under the ball. Not that much. That makes it second and ten. At the 40 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Knock him down for a loss. No game. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 36. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, 
Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. And this is the tenth play of the drive. The corner on the interception breaks a tackle they can't hang on to him and he's finally shoved out at the 36. i really like this corner's ability to read the play he shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands too First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. That brings him second and one. play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 30-yard line, it's third down. Down at the 23. Well, third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's on the run. He's taken down at the three. down in the backfield the thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays but if you keep running it it'll create some big play opportunities and they got him for a loss pretty good defense there on the option they'll stop him for a loss of one that makes it dirty goal So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. And he stopped behind the line. We played one quarter. Still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Oklahoma could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. 
Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. The Miners relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. Walden's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Miners are on top, 10-3. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. Gates from the three. Across the 30. Brought down at the 39. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. He's at midfield, and they make the stop at the 48. That makes it first and 10. Taken down at the 50. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 46. six yard line I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down Bowen is the putter this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams in games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oklahoma is up by three. They'll bring him down at the 21. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. There he goes. And he is drilled at the 41. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Three-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he 
he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Oklahoma holds a field goal lead. Quick strike and he drops it. It's the ninth play of the drive. He throws left. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Can this guy throw the ball or what? No question. You can see why this guy is considered one of the premier passers in the game. Not only does he have the tremendous arm strength that we've talked about, but he's got all the intangibles as well. We're talking about poise, confidence, and the uncanny ability to find the open man. Just a phenomenal touchdown, OU. Tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Baylor in action over in Waco. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Baylor, they're looking to win their third straight. And for Abrams, he's tossed it for more than 150 yards. 10 0 in this one. Williams ready to kick. Fielded at the four. Tackle made the 33-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's pushed out of bounds. The 39-yard line. That brings up second and one. Watch a slap. Watch a slap. Watch a slap. He scrambles. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The Horn Frogs will use their first time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. Deep to return. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on them. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Throws it deep. No, incomplete. Second 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. He wants it all. Got it to the senior. And down he goes at the 20. Scrambling around. The 10. Touchdown, Sooners. converts the extra point. A four-play, 80-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 17-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. TCU will have one timeout remaining. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Not quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. And that'll do it for the first half. 17 to nothing, Oklahoma. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. That first half performance did anything but thrill this fan base. I was sort of sneaking around perusing the internet a little bit. No, don't, uh, go, don't uh, go to those uh, blogs, brother. We, we have some people, they have the hand firmly on the panic <laughs> button right now. Relax, take a step back, everything remain calm well i mean for the time being yes it's not over yet it's only 30 minutes they don't last time i checked the games don't go final until you finish the second half and you got time to put something together would i be worried yes am i surprised of how this has gone so far yes but there's still time to put some drives together start any in the third quarter you've got to get things going early you can't waste any more time you just wasted the first 30 minutes it's time to get something going the first few minutes of the second half get some positive mojo going hey maybe even the fans will start cheering again and they'll stop booing and throwing popcorn and stuff just about time to start the second half what, what do you think herb street's first point of analysis will be uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Well, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. They're ready to begin another drive. He tries to buy some time. No one open, so he's going to run. That's a great tackle at the 44. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That brings him second and five. He 
fights forward to about the 49. That'll make it third and five. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down right around the 40. receiver again and they make the stop around the 23 yard line from the 23 yard line first down the defense had that one called perfectly that's a big play on that loss that makes, makes it second, second and 14. 14. This is the eighth play of this drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Here we go, D. Right down. Makes the first down catch. He's knocked out of bounds at the four-yard line. His feet or his arm. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Baylor, they'll hit you in the mouth and make you like it. And they pound one in for the score. And for Howell... He's rushed for more than 100 yards. The Bears on top by 16. Middle of the third quarter. 24 to nothing, our score. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 17. The Sooner staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Four million tens of receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. to about the 18-yard line. Bowen is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. 
This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. The Horned Frogs now with their quarterback down to an injury, and they've got to find a way to get back in this game and get their heads back in the game without their leader. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down to the 20-yard line. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. Incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 15-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Oklahoma is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. quarter and this one might be over. Oklahoma's running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Incomplete. 
in the passing game, the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers are very important. Here he has an open tight end, and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. Hall, the return man. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he's level at the 45. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. From the 45-yard line, second down. Oklahoma up by a bunch. Strike to his receiver, no good. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. He was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Short over the middle. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Third down and 10. Ball on their own 20. Throws and it's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Bowen to punt. Made at the 47. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Just over two minutes in the game. Have some daylight. And down he goes at the 41. From the 41 yard line. It's first down. Tackles around the 31 yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Oh. 
Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. The Sooners know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.